looks like a table saw, y'all. Look at this. Oh my god, guys. Looky here. Oh, what do you have? What's inside of you? Oh, we have jewelry, people. Oh boy. What's going on guys, it's Jason Thrift Trader coming back to you with another video. Today we go through palette number three and palette number four of Goodwill Mystery Palettes. I bought 24 palettes, guys, if you haven't seen palette number one and two. Both of those videos are in our Mystery Palettes playlist and the link to that playlist is down below in the description of this video. Guys, we're doing two palettes today because number three doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in it. So let's just do two. We've got four left on this truck and then I go and get another six pallets. My good friend Witcha CM has requested that I give a little shout out to her children, Cassandra and Armando. So what is going on Cassandra and Armando? I am so happy that you enjoy this channel with your mom. Glad I could say hello to you. Hello, good afternoon. I hope you two have a wonderful day. Let's see what we find today. All right, so here is palette number three, guys. And uh, quick overview. That looks interesting there in the corner, doesn't it? Okay, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is we're gonna pull this box out and just go through it on the ground. That'll be the first and foremost thing. All right, all right, here we go. First and foremost, Looks like we got a frog here. Nice little toy. I guess it hangs from the ceiling or something. Made by the toy factory. That's a nice pillow. Nice little pillow there. Here's another pillow. I might see if my middle kid would like that or not. Bowling set. There's a bowling set. Hey, nice. Bunch of toys in here it looks like. And plushies. That's cool. Play stool or something. Oh, what's this? Nice. That's a nice uh, glass scale. Oh, check him out. What is this, a crocodile? What? flip -a zoo Never heard of it. Okay, so... <laughs> That's interesting. That's cool. We got two of them here. There's another one. I'll have to check these plush out. Possible that some of these... Some plush sell for, sell for good money. That is a stuffers or stuffies I guess you can stuff things in them another bear or a dog actually what else uh, bunch of babies in here these are all clean they're good clean toys another bear there some other little things here good clean toys and then you have this which I don't know what this is. Some kind of little play set. That's what was in that box. All right, time to dig in some more. Look at this big old basket. Nothing wrong with it. This would go really good in local garage sale. Huge wicker basket. How about that? Uh, looks like we've got, these are boards, probably running boards for a bed. This bag right here, Looks like it's plumb full of several of these. Prevail Daily Underwear, 22 count and extra absorbency. What size? Youth Small. These might actually be able to be sold on eBay. A whole bunch of them. Oh. Okay. That looks like a table saw, y'all. Look at this. Oh. 15 amp Ryobi. 10 inch table saw but uh, we're missing pieces dang it oh. I think this bad boy is empty yeah looks empty to me not much more is that a step stool down there let's get this up no oh, pack and play if it's in good shape we'll be able to sell it and then there's a stool. I need to get that stool somehow. So here's the stool. I'm not sure what it said, but I'm assuming they were cut out blocks and you could put the blocks in there, but we're missing those. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. And here's the pack and play. It's actually in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of staining 
here on the bottom but you can get covers for these things so i think it's going to be a pretty easy 20 bucks on facebook marketplace locally and just like that this sucker is empty next up this pallet was donated august 10th 2019 so it's been <laughs> a little over a year but uh, this one looks to be quite interesting you literally can't see anything in here except for that plush dog right there and maybe another plushie there but everything else boxed up so who knows who knows hunting for treasures all right let's just break into this we'll get the obvious thing out this is a this is a build-a-bear he's seen better days he's a little roughed up but hey he's washable here's another bear another build-a-bear even looks more like a dog actually get into this box here what do we got oh yay more clothing and stuff let's see what we got bra got some socks this is the top more socks a lot of socks here's a bra let's see in better days what else we got in here I'm not wearing gloves guys I'll be careful I'm a big boy what is this support Rainick I have no idea it says uh, model number CR 1007 oh it's a sound maker noise machine got a timer for 15 minutes 30 minutes or 60 minutes sound machine nice we'll keep that and more socks come on vintage t-shirts please Oklahoma City Thunder that's a nice t-shirt we're gonna just donate it again though more socks there's a gap t-shirt nothing of major interest yet but that could change Old Navy A single flip-flop these are like tanks workout tanks what is this a nice hoodie yoga licious I don't know that might be worth something I'll have to look that up yoga licious and that's it for that box let's go to this right here what we have in here wooden curtain scones blue birdhouse these are cool a set of two of these they're curtain scones pretty cool we'll hold on to those those be good yard sale stuff a bunch of spoons and forks and whatever. this is all made stainless china it says neither so we'll just redonate that let's see what we got in here oh I'm gonna set this down we'll go through it on the ground let's see what we've got straight from heaven right to you Dumbo very nice it's Disney that's cool I like it we're keeping it HP Desk Jet 2544 print scan copy. Alright, I'll have to see if that's worth anything. Don't have a clue. Oh, LED Xenon Brinkman. Okay, don't know about that. Oh my god, guys, looky here. What is this? Okay, so we've got a alarm clock this Sony the Sony DVD player boom check that out land before time they um, they burn that one <laughs> so this is cool if it works might be some money what is this a Garmin we have a Garmin here this is the Sony this is the DVD the portable DVD uh, remote and here's a Sony remote as well for something else. And that's an Apple power supply. And what else is in here? Really, just about it. This is a Sony car battery adapter. It probably goes to that 
that DVD player. Other than that, it looks like that's about it. Let's look in here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Nice t-shirt. Volcom. Good looking long sleeve baseball tee. Pantyhose. These are unused pantyhose. We'll hold on to those. Bunch of random stuff. These are nice. They're leather too. Leather gloves. Women's leather gloves. Hold on to those. That's nice. Love always. And then it looks like we might even have personal paperwork in here, which is not <laughs> not unheard of, but a little surprising. Oh, post-it notes. We'll keep those. And the rest of it's just papers and stuff. Let's get in this box. Oh, there's a hard rock guy. Just redonate him. What we might have in here. Okay, we got some books. I scan all books for Amazon. And the more the older books and vintage books, I will actually look on eBay and see what we can do with them there. It's a nice little throw pillow. Maybe we can sell that in my Dollar Auctions Facebook group. Good things are going to happen. I like that. So these I'll keep for my Dollar Auctions Facebook group, which is it's a local Facebook group that I've created uh, for people local to me to just auction stuff off not just myself but anybody that's a member of the group can auction things off starting at a dollar 2013 marble uh, i think he's gonna go back to donation i really like this i really like this i'm gonna hold on to this and this owl as well it's a music stand how about that maybe we'll find a musical instrument in here you just never know does he talk he does something <laughs> no way. <laughs> How about this one? Oh, he's dead. Kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park. Donate. Here's some socks. Donate those. Some booties. Donate them. More books. These are kid books. I'm just going to donate those. Classic style display look at this that's pretty neat the following figure shows only the product features toys lamps are required to match is that what's in here it sure is oh look at there as long as it's all there I could set it up and take pictures of it and likely sell this thing on Facebook. I will go ahead and take that. United States map. Felt world map. That's cool. These vans have seen better days. We'll donate those. Fate of Glory. Little felt pieces. Not seen anything else really in here that's of any kind of interest. Although these are nice. These don't look like they've ever been used. Well, maybe a little. Eh, we'll donate them. EB Home. I like that. That's really cool. Huh. Earthbound. Earthbound trading. That's what I'm hearing. VTech. Paw Patrol VTech watch. That might be worth something. What else we got in here? What is this? Bro. That is cool. Oil on panel. War glare. Jason Emerson. 2014. So somebody made that. That looks really nice. That is cool. What's this? What's this? Bed sheets. These are really nice. This one doesn't match, so I'll donate it. But this this is the this is really nice. I'll hold on to these. 
we should be able to sell that in our Facebook group. And that is pretty much it. In that box. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Okay, these might be, these are teacher's supplements, so they might be worth some money. So I'll have to take a look at these. This book has seen better days. We're just going to redonate that, but I'll take a look at these books later. What do we have here? What's the next question? Faux nuts in a crackle glass bowl. Alright. Send that off. Oh, it goes on here. Let me have that back. That is nice. That is actually quite nice. I'll send that through the auction. It's a nice vase. Very burgundy-ish in color. Guess I'll keep that too. And this? Why not? This. Oh, what do you have? What's inside of you? Here we go. Oh, man. Delton. It says made in China. It's not broken. That's good. Delton made in China. It's a little doll tea set. That is too neat. We'll keep that. Structure of matter, teacher's resources. Okay, now I'm getting it. These go with the books that we've got. What's this? Icon? It had a price tag on it at some point. It's got some weight to it. What is this? Battery Geek Lithium Ion Battery Pack. That's huge. BG 10-14-88 Rechargeable Lithium Ion Battery Pack. Alright. There's that. What else is in here? Toshiba something. What are you? Ah, it's a DVD player. Nice. Nice. That is really, really nice. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to take a look at that, too. Beauty control. I'm going to talk. What is this? Beauty control. Never heard of it. And this one looks like it's the same thing. Let's see what we've got in here. DVD player by Magnavox. Got some glass. Jolly old snowy. Okay, there's a lot of glass in here. I'm going to set this down. We'll go through it here in just a minute. Uh, I see something really cool, I think. I think. What is this? Wow. Original Aroma Ice Cream. Are you seeing that? And here's the, here's the churn for it. Everything that you need is in here. That's cool. Dude. Maybe that's worth something. That's too cool. Energy Resource Center Project Learning Tree. So this might actually be worth something. And, uh, Origin of Life Teacher's Resources. Looks like this may have been a homeschool lot. There's something in this. We'll have to go through it here in a minute. Trader Joe's. This is a one of those uh, hot packs. It's coming apart, so I don't know. Somebody might have a use for it. It's not going to be me, though. Cyclone. Some bats are worth money, guys. This is a Cyclone Easton bat. I'm going to hold on to it just in case it is worth something. What's in here? It says Wells Fargo on it. Okay. Let's get this box out of here. Oh. We'll have to go through this here in just a minute. These Gaylords are pretty tall, so I'm not able to get everything all at once. There's a baby. Baron Guare? I don't know. 
Might be worth something, maybe not. You never know with these things. You just simply never know. Oh, wow. What's in here? Is it the whole printer? Golly. Oh. I'll have to go through this down here. Disposable, disposable inserts used with G pants sold separately so I don't know if these might be worth something the family recipe collection book dude it's non-used it's never been used it's brand new <laughs> that's cool I'll take it oh, more glass there's more glass in here okay this is what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna step down off the box truck here and we're gonna go through these few things that I've already pulled out the boxes and uh, we'll see what we've got in there and then we'll come back in here, tip this on its side and get the rest of this Gaylord cleaned out. So far, uh, not a bad Gaylord, I gotta say. This is a really good mystery palette for 40 bucks. I cannot complain. All right guys, here is the, I guess, travel bag that we had found, and it's packed full of clothing. Can you imagine that? There's Nike Thermafit. That's nice. Yes, I know I'm not using my tripod right now. Please forgive me. They just straight up packed the bag and said, here, have it. What else is in here? I have a feeling there's some decent clothes in here. Gap jeans. Nautica. That's a nice button down. Thompson shirtings. J. Crew. Huh. This is some good clothing in here. That's J. Crew. Summer plaid shirt. Got some polos here. That's Nautica. That's Nautica. LL Bean. This is cotton cashmere, guys. This will sell. This will definitely sell. And that looks like. Oh. We have jewelry, people. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. <gasps> okay I don't see I mean obviously when you're looking at jewelry you're looking for gold or sterling and I don't see any of that which isn't a bad deal some some costume jewelry can be worth more than its weight in gold but it has to be vintage and it has to be you know the right kind but honestly I'm not seeing any of that in here although there's some nice costume pieces in here there really is nice looks like we've got I'm just gonna dump the bag how about that um, socks and underpants it looks like that's what it looks like to me socks and underpants Okay, and in this box that had all the glassware, down at the bottom we have these glasses. They're unmarked. They might be Libby because these are marked Libby. These are like, sh uh, not Sherbert glasses. What do you call it? Sunday glasses, maybe? And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And those are actually going to be worth some money, so I'll have to look those up. It's Libby... 5252 or 7641 I don't know we'll look those up for sure and the next box of unknown goodies street and steel these look like riding shoes but we've only got one so far so let's hope for the other the beach ball I'll redonate that what's this bag stuff this is cool this is very well made it's a table runner a very very heavy nice beaded table runner I'll have to keep this that's nice greeting card of your home decorative garden flag okay boss Hugo boss nothing in it dang what else is in here anything anything of major interest silent or silliest songs hmm Some kind of whistle. Probably a dog whistle. What are these? 
V-shaped hangall storehouse. Okay. I guess we could hang on to those. Yeah, the rest of this is mostly junk. And in here, guys, it honestly looks like we have another printer. Yep, it's in there too. So, if this is the Office Jet 6700, we could be looking at some more money there. Not too shabby. Okay, so we're at the bottom of this. So I need to keep that. There might be something in this. Yep, there's a pair of glasses. L.A. Perla, La Perla. Made in Italy. Ooh, those might be worth something. So let's grab those two. What's this? Aki. Three-in-one cell phone camera lens. Okay. Huh, let's see what else we got. Oh. I'm just too short. That's my problem. This. What's this? What is this? sesame there you have it folks a play-doh fun factory with still good play-doh in it not too bad cool and lastly guys this right here air blown inflatable uncle sam self inflates in seconds energy efficient led easy setup and it sure feels like he's in there yep there he is so there you have it Pallet number three and four accomplished. And uh, I must say, not too shabby. I kind of wish that Ryobi table saw was still in one piece because that would have been nice, like easy, 80 to 100 bucks locally. But it wasn't, it is what it is. It's the same thing when you buy storage units, guys. You have no idea really what you're gonna get. It could be good, it could be bad, it could be great, it could be ugly. It just never know, you just never know. <laughs>